Princess Alexandra is here on the workbench today. I'm a bit worried about a deterioration in her running characteristics. Just look at this. As Princess Alexandra comes around the corner here, just look at the nose of the locomotive and see how it wobbles. And look at the cab as it's moving from side to side all the time. Going slower here and you can still see the wobble. These two clips were taken from the video My Railway My Rules. So I completely stripped down Princess Alexandra. And here are the wheels from Princess Alexandra. And what I noticed was the centre one, this one with the, uh, the driving cog, it's actually, look at this, a bit loose. That should not happen. And what happened was that the, the quartering, now the quartering is when we look at the wheel on this side, so that's pointing to the top, and when we look at the wheel on this side, that should be pointing to the side, when the other one is pointing to the top. And it has to be within one or two degrees, exactly 90 degrees. And this is what's been causing my problems. So I made sure that the, the quartering here was exactly 90 degrees and I've taken the, uh, the gear out as well so that the motor is not connected to the wheels. I've completely stripped it down fitted some new wheels. Look at that now. Perfectly smooth. Well that's the state of play with Princess Alexandra. She's all in bits. Well she's going to need rebuilding isn't she? I did get very concerned about Princess Alexandra that I thought the chassis might be in some way compromised which I found out now is not the case. Anyway what I did because uh, I put in a cheap offer for a loco on eBay and I got the offer. I got, um, well originally this was Duchess of Gloucester which was £65. I thought that was a very reasonable price. So what I'm doing... I'm changing to Duchess of Hamilton. And the number there will be 6229 when it's finished. So another Duchess joins the fleet. My streamlined duchesses are all getting a complete service and a makeover. And in the process of doing this I've had a couple of disasters. I've learnt a few things. Look what happened to the valve gear on Princess Alexandra. This little thing snapped, that should be attached like so, and it snapped. Now I'd love to know if anyone has an idea of how I can fix that. And I thought I'll look on Peter Spares and buy a new one of these and they're all sold out. But you know what? The model railway gods were smiling upon me. 
because I looked in my spares box and I found a set of, I didn't even remember that I had these, a replacement set of Valgia for a Duchess. How about that for a stroke of luck? I decided to replace the motor in Duchess of Gloucester. This is the old motor. Now if you want to buy a replacement motor like that from Peter Spares it's £35. But I got this one on eBay £9. It's identical. This axle well, I don't think you need to trim it because it just would stick out of the back there. It just depends on if the body would fit over it. Anyway, it would be easy enough to cut with a saw. So the problem is you don't get the worm. So I got one of these, a worm puller. And using the worm puller well, I've loosened it now, so I can pull it off with my fingers. Off comes the worm. And you put it on here. And making sure that this end is up against something solid, you gently tap that. And there you go. So I've learnt about how to use a worm puller too. Very useful little tool, you know. I can't imagine I'll be using it that often, but so, even so. So the streamliners are nearly ready to go back together. We've got Princess Alexandra with the lights and the crew. We've got Come on, focus. We've got Duchess of Gloucester, 6225, and Duchess of Hamilton. Oh, that's very dark. Duchess of Hamilton. Let's try from this side. 6229. There's a little bit of a difference in the luster. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but Duchess of Hamilton has a, a, a sort of a, a, I don't know how to describe it, a bit of a sheen, a darker sheen than Duchess of Gloucester. But they both look very splendid, don't they? So let's have a look at them going round a bit. 